Oh, there is a big push to stop crime in Portsmouth. Of course, we've been reporting on the surge of violence in that city all year. Today, Virginia's attorney general says he is ready to help come up with some solutions. News 3's Penny Commit live this afternoon for us. So how can people who live in the community be part of this conversation? Yeah, Blaine, great question. So in just a few hours, Virginia's Attorney General Jason Miaris will be right here at New First Baptist Church. This is in Portsmouth, and he's coming to discuss violence. And that seems to be a discussion that really needs to happen here in Portsmouth because just last night, two separate shootings in the city injured three people. The first shooting happened just before midnight. Police arrived to Virginia Avenue because a man was shot in his upper body. And when they got there, they discovered that another man had just recently walked into a nearby hospital also being shot. They say those two shootings are related. Then over on the interstate last night near Victory Boulevard, another shooting. A man was shot while driving. That man was taken to the hospital and he is expected to survive. So clearly there's going to be a lot to discuss at tonight's town hall. So tonight's town hall is going to begin at six. The organizers are asking anybody that would like to ask the attorney general a question to arrive at 530. Again, the focus is Portsmouth violent crimes. Now, former police chief Renato Prince was supposed to attend tonight's meeting, but after his sudden firing by city manager Tanya Chapman, just days into her job, the former chief is not expected to be there. News 3 spoke with Barry Randall. He's hosting tonight's town hall. He disagrees with Chapman's decision to fire the former chief. It's very um, disheartening, you know, to see him be fired, you know, not even a week into her job. He was very engaging with the community. He was an a individual that you could talk to, and um, he had a plan in place, and um, they didn't give him time to, you know, work it out. Late last night, Chapman released a statement in response to the firing, but I do want to add that they have declined our request to speak in person. Her statement says in part, whenever I am considering terminating an employee, I do not take this decision lightly. I realize that you may have questions, but this is a city of Portsmouth personnel matter, and I cannot comment about the reason or any details due to privacy rights. Now, News 3 will have continuing coverage of this controversy in the city's government starting tonight night at four. We'll also be right inside of these church doors. Again, the event set to start at six. We'll have an update on what happens coming tonight. We're live in Portsmouth. I'm Penny Commit News 3.